In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use both discrete and continuous colors on a map. The use case here might be where you're wanting to show maybe profit for each state, but then you want to highlight a particular state in a single color. So how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing is let's go ahead and build a map. So we've got uh, the states in the US and let's just say we want to use sales on the color shelf. And we get a simple map of uh, sales for each state. And let's say, for example, that I want the user to be able to highlight uh, Texas for some reason. So I want Texas to be its own color. So to do that, I'm going to start by creating a parameter. So I'm going to create a parameter. I'm going to call it uh, choose a state. And I'm going to make it a string. And I'm going to start by adding uh, one called uh, none into the list. So this would be, you know, they don't, they, we don't want them to pick anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and add all of the states by going to add from field and choose state. And now we have a nice little parameter. And let's go ahead and show that. Oops, show the parameter control. All right, and now we need to create a calculated field that says, um, you know, should we, what, which state should we show? So let's create a calculated field because parameters don't really do anything by themselves. So I'm going to call it state to highlight. And I'm just going to say state uh, equals our choose a state. Okay, and hit okay. And what I'm going to do now is in order to show that one as a single color, I'm going to duplicate uh, my latitude onto the rows. Now you can do the same thing if you just duplicate the longitude, but for me, I'm going to just duplicate latitude. It doesn't matter which one you do as long as you only do one of them. Okay, so now what you'll notice is I have two separate mark card, marks cards. And what I want to do is I want to put my, I want to replace the sum of sales on here. So I've got my sum of sales in my color shelf. I want to replace it with state to highlight over here. So to do that, I'm going to drag state to highlight and drop it on top of uh, the sum of sales. And now you'll notice I get something like that and they're all blue. Okay. And you'll see over here on the right hand side, um, it says state to highlight equals false. That's because no states match the none option, right? So if I go ahead and choose, let's say Texas now, so let me scroll down to Texas. You'll notice Texas now becomes orange. So we can see Texas became orange. And we now have two colors on here. Uh, one is for true. That means we found a match for the state. And the other is false. OK, great. But I only want to show Texas in this map below. I don't want to show all the other states. So I'm going to actually right click on the false option and choose hide. Now, what that does is it just doesn't show them. So it means uh, don't show those, but also don't filter them. Now what I need to do is I need to change my mark type for my second latitude shelf to a map, and that gives me a filled map. And then the last step is to create a, make it a dual axis chart. Okay, and there we go. So now we have Texas compared to everybody else. I'm gonna actually click on the color shelf and make it a bit more bold. And maybe I'll even throw a border on it to make it stand out a bit more. Okay, that didn't really do a whole heck of a lot, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, and now if I switch around my states, you see you can highlight Nevada, or I could highlight Oklahoma, or you know whichever state I want to highlight. And there we go. Now what we could also do then is we could put maybe sales onto the label for that particular um, state. And now as I switch states, let's say I pick Georgia, we could see the sales for Georgia. Or if I go back to Texas, I can see my sales for Texas as labeled as well. So it helps you label just that one shelf. Now, the last thing you want to do is you want to kind of clean up your tooltips. So you'll see here it says state to highlight true, state Texas sales 170, uh, 180. So I'm actually going to go over here to my uh, state to highlight field on my uh, columns, uh, I'm sorry, on my second shelf. And I'm going to hit the little triangle and untick the include in tooltip option. And now when I hover over, you can see it says state Texas sales 170. And now all of my tooltips kind of look the same. So I'm going to go back to my all marks card and I'm going to update the tooltip here. So I'm going to say the state is that. And then uh, I want to just make sales uh, maybe nice and big or something like that. Maybe make it 14 point and turn off these other things. Okay, so now you can see the sales for each state. 
And if I switch my state to maybe Missouri, I can still see the sales for Texas. So essentially what we're doing is we're layering one map on top of the other. Now, the last thing I would do here to clean up this map is I would go to my map layers and I'm going to uh, wash out the entire map. And that basically removes everything from the background. And then I'm gonna switch all of the states to have a white border. And for me, or maybe a slight gray, I just kind of like the way this works a bit better. Some people prefer maybe to use a black, you know, it, it kind of depends on what you want. So just personal preference on the look and feel of those. So I'm gonna switch it back to white. I wish you could actually make the borders a bit thicker, but um, let's not really worry about that now. Okay, and as we go through, we can switch the states and uh, we can see, you know, for Oregon, for example, we now see um, we're highlighting a state and we're showing the, um, the sales value on that shelf. So hopefully you found that helpful and um, I'll be back soon with another Tableau tip. Have a great day.